There's a brand new LMG in Modern Warfare 3 called the TAC Eradicator and it is broken. Like literally, I don't think this is performing how it's intended based off its weapon description. But that doesn't stop the TAC from being a good weapon in its current state, it only means it has a bright future ahead. And it doesn't stop me from continuing with worst to best reviews. This is a series where I deep dive important stats and best class setups for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 weapons. At the end, I give each weapon a rating between 1 and 5 stars, of course keeping in mind that the TAC Eradicator may be fixed in the future. Down the line, so I actually rank the LMGs from worst to best alongside the Modern Warfare 2 ones so you can get a direct comparison of how everything stacks up against each other. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss when that video goes live. The TAC Eradicator is unique in that it has a variable fire rate that starts off quick and then slows down over time. The in-game stats state the fire rate is 857 rounds per minute, but that just straight up isn't true. The way the gun actually works is the first bullet fires at 750 RPM, the second bullet fires at 900 RPM, bullets 3, 4, 5, and 6 fire at around 750 RPM, there's a little variance between each of those, and then the seventh bullet and on will all fire at 625 rounds per minute. Unlike the SVA Assault Rifle, you cannot spam the TAC Eradicator for the faster fire rate because there's about a one second delay after you stop firing before it will fire fast again. Any sooner will have you firing at 625 rounds per minute. This gimmick makes the TAC Eradicator an awkward weapon to use because time to kill can be unpredictable even though its damage is incredibly consistent. Its first and second range profiles are the same, meaning from 0 to 59 meters, the Tacky Eradicator can 5 shot kill anywhere in the body. If you land all initial shots with the faster fire rate, you're looking at a time to kill of 310 milliseconds, which is pretty good for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. However, if you're firing at the slower fire rate, which can happen a lot with this weapon, your 5 shot time to kill is 385 milliseconds, which isn't that great for close range. Damage will then drop off at 59 meters, where it will 6 shot kill to anywhere in the body. The fast fire rate time is 385 milliseconds, the slower fire rate time to kill is 480 milliseconds. To disclaim, your time to kill can be anywhere in between those numbers or even slower. These numbers were calculated assuming you're not missing any of your shots. To put these numbers into perspective, if you're landing your shots, the TAC Eradicator has a great time to kill. It's competitive with the top tier guns in the game. If you miss your shots or you need to fire beyond that 6 shot for a multi kill for instance, which happens frequently, COD is a fast paced game. Your time to kill then is going to be slow. It's not the worst in the game, but it's easily towards the bottom of the barrel for full auto weapons. The only exception is in that mid-range gunfight from like 30 to 50 meters. Like many of the other better LMGs and battle rifles, the TAC Eradicator will dominate those gunfights with its naturally longer range. But again, that's if you're hitting all your shots. It's fairly easy to miss shots with the TAC Eradicator, at least in its current form. The description for this weapon says it starts out at a blazing fast fire rate before quickly slowing down and becoming more accurate. It doesn't do this though, the Eradicator does the opposite, it ramps up recoil on that 7 shot and makes it incredibly hard to use, especially if you don't have any attachments on this weapon. It is so easy to miss shots in that transition period when the recoil kicks in, and when you're missing shots you're extending your time to kill to be in that slower range where you're not going to be winning a lot of your gunfights. The attack can be very inconsistent and that's why it feels so bad at times, you're getting tons of hit markers. Luckily, other accuracy stats like bullet velocity are average for a light machine gun in this game. Surprisingly, the TAC Eradicator is one of the faster LMGs in terms of handling and mobility. It has a faster aim down sights for the class at 330 milliseconds. It's tied for fastest sprint to fire with the Holger 26 at 210 milliseconds. It's also tied for the fastest reload speed with the DG58 at 3.5 seconds, which is not much slower than some ARs in this game. Plus you have a generous 75 round mag so you're not even reloading that often. Movement speeds are also all on spot average. There's not one bad thing about the TAC Eradicator in terms of mobility for an LMG. 
which is great because you're going to be slowing a lot of those stats down with attachments. This class setup I'm sharing uses attachments to reduce recoil as much as possible. The combo keeps the initial bullets tight, and then when recoil kicks in, the climb is manageable without much horizontal deviation. What I like about these specific attachments is that they don't have much penalty to other stats. Your aim down sight speed is going to be 45 milliseconds slower than the base speed, and sprint to fire is only 30 milliseconds slower than base speeds. This setup isn't like snappy fast, but it is very usable. I think this is the general way you're going to build this weapon. Initial shot accuracy is crucial for the TAC Eradicator, but if they do end up making those slower RPM shots more accurate, you'll probably be able to get away with less recoil attachments, which will open up more opportunities to speed up your handling. That brings us to the TAC Eradicator's rating out of 5 stars. I struggled what to rate this for a while. Initially, I was thinking two stars because this weapon felt horrible to use. You have tons of recoil without attachments, you got a lot of hit markers, and it was frustrating, but it's not like it was the worst weapon in the game. When I got attachments unlocked to this weapon, I started to see the potential with it. And when I started analyzing these stats and seeing that the weapon is actually broken, I saw that it has potential to be absolutely amazing in the future. But even if it gets a recoil reduction with these slower RPM shots, that slower time to kill is still mediocre. That open bolt delay is always going to be there preventing you from being able to spam those faster fire rates like you can with the SVA assault rifle. All of the TAC Eradicator's power is packed into those initial six shots. I think multi-kills are always going to be a problem with this weapon or you know when you have inconsistent shots at long range gunfights like in Warzone, like those shots may be easy to hit but it's not going to be impressive in terms of time to kill. TDK may not be important in Warzone but it, it makes or breaks weapons in multiplayer. So that's why I give the TAC Eradicator a... 3 out of 5 star rating. I think this is pretty much spot on average for an LMG. And I feel comfortable stating that. You can underperform with it, let's not lie. You can also pop off with it, we're not gonna lie there either. But it has those checks in place, like the open bolt delay, the slower RPM, all those things, that will prevent it from being a monster and prevent it from being what I would call a good weapon, where it, you know, it performs slightly above average in most situations. It's a fairly well-balanced weapon, and that's a good thing. That's my opinion though, if you disagree, you're always welcome to share your opinion in the comments. Please don't forget to tap that like button if you've enjoyed this video. And if you aren't subscribed and are still watching, hit that subscribe button. I got a bunch of Modern Warfare 3 content lined up for this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.